Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this triangular effect background or header inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications that is using a macro. I will start with a blank document, but I will not start with a blank macro this time. I will I already have some macro predefined here and I will try to quickly explain to you what this does just because I'm using this base for many other tutorials. If you are not quite sure what this macro does, just make sure to check my other tutorials about the Visual Basic for Applications and you may you know, see, understand this better. So what I have here is I have a variable called columns which will set me how many columns do I want and rows which sets how many rows do I have in this document. And then I have a variable set called grid size which sets the size of the each cell. And I only have this as one variable because I want those cells to have the same width and height. So if I have the column set to 10 and row set to 5, it will not fill the entire document. It will just create this like a header effect, which is what I'm looking for. So I set the grid size to be active document that page setup that page width divide by the columns. And then I just simply loop for each row and each column. And inside this loop, I will, of course, draw something. And this time I want to draw a triangle. So in order to draw a triangle, I will say active document document dot shapes dot add shape and I need to know the type of the shape. I can quickly search the internet or I can just open the insert ribbon and I can just guess the name. I want this triangle which is called isoscales triangle. So it may be maybe MSO isoscales triangle. I may also search for the search of Google for the right name if this not it's not working. So let for now say 001010 to make sure that the name is right and it's probably not right. So seems like I was using I was missing uh, MSO shapes ISO skills triangle. So let's try to run this one more time. No, still not ISO shape. Hopefully that will work. Okay, so we have a triangle, but all the triangles are on the same the same position. So let's change it. Let's say the X position to be based on the counter columns, counter columns times grid size, and the Y to be based on counter rows, rows times grid size. The size would be, of course, grid size for both width and height. Okay, so if I run this. I should get 50 different triangles on the right positions. The problem is they are kind of rotated the wrong, wrong way. So I want this triangle to be rotated like 90 degrees, like this one, and the other one to be rotated the other way around, like this. And I've kind of made a very similar thing in my previous tutorial for Polkadot when I was, you know, examining the counter rows or counter columns and trying to find out if this is uh, odd or even number and I will probably do the same here as well so I will say if something is modulus 2 is 0 so if something divided by 2 if the modulus is 0 I will set the rotation to be it's still right that's fine rotation to be maybe 90 Otherwise, it will be plus 180, which is 70. So what's the expression here? I probably want the both counter rows and the counter columns to set the rotation. Let's see if this works. So counter rows plus counter, plus counter columns, if this modulus by 2 is 0, we will set the rotation to 90 or 270. So I will say with this triangle, and I delete the select part, I will say dot rotation equals rotate and say end bit. This should be probably end if. So I will delete everything on the page and try to run this again. And immediately you can see that we are getting some nice results. The only problem is that the spacing on the y axis is too big. It should be half the size. So let's change the y position. So this is the x position, this is the y position. It should be counter rows times grid size divided by 2. Let's see if this works. So if I run this again, 
I should get the spacing right between the triangles, which is great. So the triangles are drawn in the right way, we just need to make them look good. So I will delete everything and we can start playing with the color. So let's say for example that the fill that uh, for color that uh, object team color is maybe a random number. For example, I don't know, random times 6 plus 3 and that the line is not visible. So line dot uh, visible equals zero. So if I run it, I should already get a much nicer result. Of course, this default color theme is not very nice. So I will open the design ribbon and change the colors to maybe green yellow. And this time I feel that I would like to see maybe a gradient instead of just a pure solid color. So what I can do is I can probably change this fill to be a gradient. So let's try to do fill dot uh, and there are some gradient actions. So for example, one color gradient. And we have to set the style, which could be for example, MSO gradient uh, vertical. And then we have to set the variant which is just a number so let's let's say to one for now and same for the degree let's see if this works or not the degree in here is actually not the degree like the rotation it's it's the gradient type if it will go to darker or lighter color so if i run this again i should hopefully get some kind of gradient okay so we have some kind of gradient which goes to white color that's because this is set to one if i changes to zero i believe that it will go to a darker color so that's right what i actually want to do is to have a two color gradient even when this is already a two color gradient we are only setting one color so this is two color gradient but the second one is being set automatically based on the parameters so what i will probably want to do is for this fill dot gradient stops dot what could be it could be item and the first one will be probably gradient stop number one dot color and this is the same as the any other color object in color i will set this to be a random number like this it's working so random times six plus three and i will do the same for the other gradient stuff as well so fill that gradient stops that items sorry item number two car object team car equals random times six plus three we probably don't need to set the four car anymore so let me just comment this out and let's see what this does so i will run this again and hopefully for each triangle i will get the random first stop and random second stop for each gradient so those are random colors from the selected team the only thing missing is in my example i was fading those triangles towards the bottom and that's what actually shown multiple times in my previous videos so i can set simply fill the transparency equals based on the counter rows and the counter rows goes from zero to number of rows so if i delete this by the rows I should get a number going from zero to almost one so as it will go more to the bottom it will get more transparent one more thing that's still missing is i will after i will draw everything i will say active document dot shapes dot select all this way it will be very easy for me to select uh, to group all the shapes together so i will run this macro again you can see that the triangles are being drawn they are fading towards the bottom of the document everything is selected so i just group everything together and then maybe i will change also the page background so inside the design ribbon i will change the page background to maybe this this green color the only last piece missing is i don't like this transition where the triangles start on the top of the page what i can do is i can here update the macro or i can just grab this group and move it to the top in a way that it's not obvious that they are the first line is missing and that's it for today's tutorial as usual you can change the theme to some different theme since we have triangles it may be possible to change the shape but it will probably not look very good 
just because those triangles are drawn in a way that any other shape may not you know fit but we can still try it you know you can still select the group and change the shape to something else like the i don't know the arrow and it's kind of interesting result i would say you know we have like different arrows pointing to different directions it's similar to the triangle but it gives us more details anyway that should be it for today's tutorial thanks for watching